today uh, the accused appeared um, and he abandoned bail. Yeah. So um, sadly for the family, you know, uh, the, the proceeding didn't even last a, a minute. Yeah. But uh, we did get to see the accused. Um, he is reappearing again in the same magistrate's court yeah. on the 6th of October. Yeah. I think the community here um, feels very, very angry about uh, the murder of a uh, gift uh, yeah. Sebo Macau because, you know, she was known in the community. She was out and openly lesbian. Um, she was a role model to many young people. Um, yeah, she she played football. Um, she was, you know, a college student. So she was really a, a young woman that was really looking forward to a, a, a future um, with a with a professional career. Um, and and yeah, and her life has just come to an abrupt end because of hatred and because you know, a, you know, kind of a kind of masculinity that doesn't want to accept uh, diversity, um, that people can identify as heterosexual, as lesbian, as transgender, you know. So I think the community is very, very upset about it. Um, on the past Saturday, just after the funeral, there was another lesbian that was, there was an attempted rape. With? Right in, in Fentestorp here, yeah. and just after the funeral. And so it just shows that there's a lot of, of work that has to be done to change uh, attitudes, to change mindsets um, within the town, and, and particularly to work with with young men in this in this community.